Since the late 1880s, visual artists and storytellers have used moving images to create amazing works. You ain't heard nothing yet. Airing motion pictures. Quite a few differences, um, but mainly when it comes to shooting, um, the cameras are very different. So uh, you, you, there's a different, obviously the, the way they work is different. I mean, celluloid analog cameras, uh, they record straight on tape, on, on celluloid, and that lasts, on a good shoot, that lasts about 10 minutes. Um, so it's obviously a lot, it's a completely different way of, of shooting a film because you constantly have to keep reloading. Uh, when it comes to digital cameras, obviously they try to replicate what celluloid cameras do by using a CCD chip. Uh, obviously it's a lot easier uh, when you're on, uh, on set because you can just quickly look at what you've done and then make an adjustment, so it's a lot easier. Uh, but when it comes to looking at a at a film, if it's shot on celluloid, you, you'll get more of a kind of grainy kind of texture. Whereas if it's if it's uh, digital, it it will lack that. However, the quality will still probably be very well, quite the same. It's exciting because it's it's a re, it's a reinvention of a new medium. If the photochemical process has worked its way through our culture. We're on to another level. And how do you use it to tell a story? How do you use it to paint a picture? Um, digital filming is the newer um, way of filming. It's all done by a computer and it's more automated, whereas the analog way um, would be the, the older, more manual way of filming um, and take a lot more time. If I'm watching film shot on digital and analog, I can still see the difference. Um, I think it comes down to the quality when you're, when you're actually looking at the difference. Um, the process tells a different picture altogether because it comes down to time restraints, it comes down to uh, the crew you're using, the expertise you're using. If the intention is that digital is going to replace film, I would be sad if it didn't actually exactly replicate it. Um, even in my lifetime, cinema experience has changed a lot in the sense that there used to be like a hysteria for films. What I mean by that is when I was younger, uh, people would be queuing up outside the cinema, cinemas would be packed out for popular films, where now they're you know, usually half full. Uh, I think that celluloid is just very time consuming to use. I mean, if, if you're, especially if you're on a tight schedule, um, <clears throat> celluloid, it just it takes too long. Obviously, taking into account your actors and the, the, their performance, it will change because you can't just cut straight away. You have to run through as much of the script as you can until the, the tape runs out. Uh, so they get tired a lot easier. Um, so I'd say that some of the cons of uh, celluloid and the fact it's just very tiring to keep reloading the, the tapes and shoot again. <clears throat> but when it comes to digital, you can just do it instantly. It's, uh, you can cut and, and start whenever you want. Um, now digital, it might not have the same texture as celluloid does, however it, the quality is, is getting better and better so um, there's, yeah, there's probably about, I definitely say digital is getting there. I don't think film's going anywhere. I don't think it's to the advantage of anybody to totally eliminate film. They're going to be many of us, they're going to fight for film, they're going to fight for the experience of shooting on emotion. Um, I personally feel that cinema's changed quite a lot um, in terms of the, you know, you've obviously got 3D movies now and even some are, are becoming out 4D. Um, they're all digitally enhanced. Um, there's better quality um, in, in the pictures, more crisper picture and the sound and the animated films over the last probably 10 to 15 years have come on leaps and bounds. It looks a lot more realistic than they've ever been. The difference between digital and analog films uh, through the filmmaking process is the overall look that you get. And up until five years ago, there was a massive difference between the two. The main difference is digital look too crystal clear, whereas analog had a texture to it. Even if I had the money, I'd still use digital because it's just so much easier. You have full control over everything on the set. I mean, as a director, I would want to make sure that I can see um, 
maybe play back a scene after it's been shot and then tell my actor, right, no, you didn't do this right, do that again. Uh, because with celluloid, you won't really have that chance until it goes to editing, and that just takes everything. It, it just becomes so much longer. Uh, so digital all the way for me, because, I, I mean, the quality's not lacking. I mean, we've got 6K, things are coming, you know, the quality's getting better and better. So it's... Pros and cons yeah, of digital. Um, so the pros would be, I would think, that it would save a lot of time. Um, it's a lot faster way of doing it. It's a more automated way um, of, of filming. Um, the cons, um, it, if you're trying to film more of an older style movie or stuff like that, I think the... Um, it, it, it won't be as authentic as if you were using the analogue um, way of filming. So the pros and cons of digital are basically that the pros are is that you can film for longer. Um, it's you know the weight and, and the um, size of the cameras are smaller and lighter, so that you can you know do more with them. They're cheaper. Um, so that you know you can actually do more on your shooting, it doesn't take up so much of your budget. The cons are because it's cheaper, the quality overall of production can lack a bit of luster. Um, with the digital, obviously, there can be glitches, there can be corruptions with the storage of it. Um, and at the minute, the quality of digital I don't think replicates what cellular does. Workflow on a film set basically means that you, you take thousand foot loads of film loaded into the magazines and that enables you to shoot for roughly 10 plus minutes per roll of film. I think the technology definitely will. Uh, I don't think it's needed because I mean we have, I mean when it comes to the actual quality of the picture, the actual definition, the resolution, now that we've gone up to 6K and probably even more, it's, you can see unnecessary detail. I mean you can even tell that the actors are wearing makeup. I personally think that might be a bit too much um, and it's it is, I, I can definitely see it getting better I mean I can see um, better but resolutions coming out better cameras um, 3d cameras I mean who knows what will come next maybe hologram cameras we don't know but technology is definitely improving I can see it getting uh, a lot better and more expensive as well if I was to film anything now whether it's a short film or a feature length if budget wasn't an issue, I would film on, uh, on celluloid because of the look of the film. Uh, I'd quite happily sacrifice all of the other elements and all of the cons of celluloid so that I got the look that I wanted. If budget wasn't an option due to the fact that analogue is a more expensive way of producing a film and if budget wasn't an option I'd probably go with that way um, because it's the more authentic way, it's the way it's always been done. Um, so if money was no option I'd probably veer towards that way because I think you get um, a better quality in terms of the complete film um, and you've got a little bit more control over it um, in terms of the, the style of film that, film that you're trying to make, you've got a lot more option. I think digital has improved obviously as you said uh, over the last 10-15 years and I think it will continue to and the reason it will and why it will is because the actual quality of the picture will continue to improve. So the amount of pixels have already gone from you know, 1080 to 4 to 5 to 6 to 8. Whether that makes a huge difference or not, I've done some testing on old celluloid film and what I could say is obviously it's massively time consuming, but also it's a real art. You know, it's not like you can be trained as quick as you can on something like Premiere to edit. It takes a long, long time. The film goes away to a film lab and is developed overnight and printed. I think the argument for celluloid and digital on editing is, is pretty much over now. Um, there are far, you know, far too many pros for digital editing than there are for celluloid. Um, and I would 100% always edit on uh, digital format.